everyone and welcome back to another Vision Gaming video. Today in this video we're continuing with Jabali Zoo. There's been a little break I think, I don't really know. I, I feel like I haven't really uploaded that much recently but that's because it's been Christmas. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I hope you all had a great Chris currently recording this on New Year's Eve uh, and it should be going out later on tonight, hopefully. Maybe the, maybe it'll come out uh, 1st of January 2020, which would be pretty cool. I'll to anyone watching in the future. That's also gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, this is Chibali Zoo. Hopefully you will have checked out my other videos in this series. But anyway, what I'm doing now, I'm um, I'm, I'm making a reptile house because I I got some reference images and I can't remember where they're from. Um, it's not. I I think it's Toledo Zoo um, in Florida. Um, so yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know why we've paused here, uh, but yeah, I think I was just checking my reference images. Uh, but yeah, it, it's from Toledo Zoo, and it just it was really interesting. It was the side entrance as well. It wasn't actually the main entrance. I do the main entrance is duplicated, but it's my side entrance. It's really weird. Anyway, um, I think looking back on it, this is too steep, and I should have used the uh, trick with the. Um, the, the monorail to get it to the terrain right uh, because I think it's like two meters off the ground which although in the game might not be that much in real life that's massive so it was it's not that realistic but I'm not going to change it now because it's all set in and I really really like how it looks um, but yeah um, as much as I'm, I'm loving this right now the the guys from Bro Nation they're all m making like beautiful naturous I know that's not a word, uh, like naturous buildings and uh, parks and I really want to have a go at doing terraforming and stuff. So I'm going to keep doing Jabali Zoo definitely and I, I am really loving it. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know, what are your guys thoughts? What Would you guys like it if I made a, uh, maybe even, not, it wouldn't be immediate but like at some point in the future I've made a series where uh, I build in like some kind of style so like maybe do a North American area or see what the next DLC after Arctic is and then um, do a park based around that or something I don't know um, but anyway yeah here I'm just I'm trying to do the outline of the building uh, it, it was taking a while to come to me this to be honest it was I was really struggling uh, to get the brick and, and like the concrete kind of white stone um, grand entrance on the side um, but I, I end up really liking how it comes out because I end up with like this tiered layer effect and it's really cool. Um, I, w I wanted to use these copper roofs but I could not get anything to work and it, like it was just I'd made these really awkward angles that just didn't work but like they were necessary because I was following this reference image uh, but yeah uh, here I am just adding in some more um, like I was adding in a, a trim to the bottom so that it would look kind of grounded adding trims to the bottom of your buildings it just it it made everything flow so well because it just the the main bit of stone was in there and then oh yeah i think this is where i kind of yeah i, I redid the interior because i didn't like it but um yeah it just the it makes the rock flow from the from this area that you can see here into the rock bit not rock bit into the brick bit and then into the white stone and it just tied it all together and it just it worked so well it grounded the building it made it just seem oh i just loved it and on on the reference image they had like these metal supports but I couldn't find the right metal piece, so I ended up just using this. And I, I created this really cool like kind of overhang thing. I really like how it turns out. I just I love everything about it. Here you can see this is when I'm I was trying to look for like a little like just a triangle or something so that those pieces weren't so like just hanging over. Because that just wasn't very realistic. And then I found this piece and Oh, I love that piece so much, it was so good. But then I realised the actual art shaped triangle would be a lot better and don't know why I didn't use it in the first place. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I did that. I was really happy with that. Oh wait, no I wasn't. I thought I was happy with that, no. Uh, I used, I used, I did go back to those pieces because I didn't want the um, 
it's sticking out on the other side, uh, the triangle. Uh, but yeah, just had to fiddle around with this a bit to get it so that it all matched up correctly and then it was good and I just copied and pasted this look, that was the end section and then copied and pasted this little middle section along to create this cool glass part of the building. It's just it just it really adds interest to the building. I think if it didn't have this it would look quite boring. Uh, but anyway, this going over this way is going to lead into... I haven't decided yet, I think it's going to be the African uh, area. Um, but yeah, it was just... It, I, I was really interested because um, the the whole thing was just... It just fits so well and I've, I, I've really like made it into an area now. So um, this, this will be in two parts. So this is episode six and then seven because there's just so much footage of everything. So I think this is like a 20 minute video, so sorry for it being extra long, but I just had to fit it all in. And then the next episode is about 11 minutes and that's the like other half of this. Um, and and then yeah, we all, it, and then the episode after that we'll start making on the other side, because we, we turn this into a plaza. Uh, on the other side, we start making some African colonial buildings, almost like as, because I'm going to have the African areas like a savanna and stuff. So it's kind of like before you go into the area, you, like this, it's, it's, it's heavily inspired by Islands of Adventure. Anyway, we'll cover that when we get to that. Currently, I'm making an outside wall uh, that's, uh, I'm guessing in real life, its function is just for security. Um, but I'm guessing it would also have something in between the two as like outside storage or something. But I just, I, I ended up just creating this cool like fence and I really like how it turns out. Um, it, it was quite irritating trying to make this corner piece because the angles just weren't working for me. I also really struggled on actually how I should detail this, this wall because it was looking quite plain but I, I eventually come up with a, a solution. Just this, um, trim really works and that that pretty much was all I had to do and I was like yeah I quite like that being plain because the rest of the building is quite detailed so you, your eyes get drawn to like the, the both entrances because they've got all the green and the copper and they all look really nice. Um, I had a little flower bed in here as well originally I was going to have that as like staff ac access to the reptiles house I, I thought that that would make sense but then I put some like flowers and stuff there and realized I couldn't they wouldn't walk through the flowers so um, yeah so here you can see me I'm about to start making the flower beds uh, and it's like it's it's a really cool like circular tearing whole thing um, uh, so yeah, originally it was just like rings and then I, I end up building some circles and then layering them on top of each other and then I put mulch in it and it all just looks so nice. I, I'm just overall I'm really happy with how this reptile house came out. I think I think it could be one of my best buildings. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm really enjoying Planet Zoo at the moment. It's just it's so much fun and I, I really think I'm improving and everyone on Bronations just being su such good help when I think does this look right it's just great to get a second opinion and it's just made my building so much better so yeah um, yeah it's just it's it's been in, in just so good I've, I've just loved playing the game and it's it's been ages since that because I was playing Planet Coaster and then um, I was building a park and I kind of got way too into detail on this main street and just got a bit bored there. Couldn't think of any other new ideas or anything. Um, but with Zoo, I've really tried to like limit myself. So I'm not just making buildings for like plaza and stuff and they all have like purpose and uh, everything. So yeah, um, I start making, here's me covering it all in mulch. And then I'll cover it all in flowers and stuff. But yeah, it was it was quite difficult actually to cover all of this up because the mulch is like it's slightly like curved at the sides, so some of the pieces don't really blend in together and it looks quite bad. So I end up having to like fill in just gaps and stuff with like the top piece because I used massive circular pieces and they're like curved at the sides. So it, like as you can see, it's it's like quite. 
um, like crowded and stuff, but it, it all gets hidden by the flowers, so it works. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, although I don't know if the flowers are a bit too repetitive because I just kind of spam them all down but I couldn't think of anything else to put there and I didn't want to block the view so it had to be something really low lighting and I was going to do like ferns and stuff and I might go back and do that but um, I, I do like how, how it looks with all the flowers so I'll probably just keep it with the flowers because I was trying to make a uh, like desert garden uh, to show off like uh, do like an education area on succulents and stuff but um, I, I've just, I've really struggled with that. Like I, I, I got some help from Bronation, but they just, I, I just could not get it right. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to leave that. Um, maybe put a different thing there or just fill it in with like a seating area or something because I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it. I made, I made some signs and then Pond Shrimp made hers, like her education signs, and there was one that was just really perfect with the leaf and stuff. And I was like, yes, okay, <laughs> I'll just use that. And then I placed them down and I made like this rock path, but it doesn't fit or anything and it doesn't match the area. So I might just do some seating or something. But it's, it's a really awkward shape, so I can't just put like another building there because that would also block. Uh, so I just, I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, here's just me making these massive, like, flower beds. See, look, it's just, I don't, I don't know if it looks very realistic because it's just tons of flowers all just spammed in there. And I tried to add, like, some grasses in to make it look overgrown, but they just look dumb. <laughs> so yeah, and I, here I'm making a little fence. Um, that I just I just I wanted it to continue like the plaster but have some bricks uh, and then yeah I was putting in some foliage and then didn't like that and then put that in didn't like it and then I, I end up just doing a load of rock work at the front here which I, I think I do think it all looks really nice um, and I put loads of moss in but because it's all so flat and lying to the ground when I put the moss and stuff in it just it looks like it only shows at some angles because of the way it's sunk into the rocks so yeah um we're about 12 minutes in we've got about seven minutes left so yeah so it's about 19 minutes this episode i'm sorry it's a bit longer than the usual ones normally i try and go for around 14 15 episode 15 minute episodes um but yeah this one just had to be a little longer because there's just so much footage to cover because i made this m massive reptile house um so yeah, I think the bigger projects like reptile houses and stuff will need two episodes. Um, I kind of want to, I'm thinking about it now when I've recorded this, because I built this like two weeks ago. Uh, when I'm recording this right now, I'm starting to think like I've made a reptile house, but it's kind of an exhibit house and I've just put everything in it. But I kind of want to make like more of these houses. So I kind of want to make a bug house and experiment with other designs of houses because I've seen loads of people's. Uh, so I might go back in and put in like some, don't know, like Galapagos tortoise um, and just have it like as a walk through actual like some like exhibits as well as the exhibit animals and have some actual habitats in there as well. Maybe even like have, uh, oh that's, that I could extend it um, and have saltwater crocodiles in there and and also the outside bit where I tried to make the desert I could I could put crocodiles there oh um, there might there might be a bit a bit more before we get to the colonial area because I might be redoing this uh, yeah oh yeah I, th I think that's what I want to do yep uh, but I found this this brackets piece so useful uh, I didn't realize I was in an even smaller piece but that would have just been insane trying to get that to line up um, but yeah, uh, I, tr I was trying to make this curve, but it was really difficult. Uh, it's the, I don't use it the best here, but I, I use it for the other entranceway and oh, it just looks so good. I, I really like it. Um, I, I really tried to line it up correctly and stuff. I, I also use it for a dome on one of the African colonial buildings. Um, yeah. So I'm, d I'm just working on the front now, and it just—I I think it turns out looking really, really good. Uh, 
but I don't, I don't really know to be honest. And then I realise I can fill it in and I'm like, yes, this looks really good. So then I, so I f end up filling in this bit as well. Um, so, so then that covers up any like mess or anything, which makes that look a lot smoother and really nice and I really like it. Uh, and yeah. And then I write reptilia as the sign because that's, I'm guessing it's Latin or something for reptiles, I don't really know. Uh, but anyway, I've still not even finished the main like exterior of the reptile house, but it, it will be, it will be finished soon. Um, so yeah, uh, what am I doing now? I am just detailing the front. Uh, I was really struggling to detail it. It's the first building I've gotten like heavily into detail with depth and pieces and stuff and just I, I really I really like how it turned out uh, I actually end up leaving that bit uh, empty for the sign um, I'm just filling in the last few little pieces um, yeah here I'm making the sign now um, I, originally I make it out this small foot font because I didn't realize actually how much space I had and then I put it in and it's tiny uh, shout out to Ricey as well. Her fonts are just incredible, and so are Suicide's Up. They're both just font like masters. They're so good um, at just turning the pieces into fonts and stuff. Sui's made this like tiny one that's just incredible. It's so small and just great, and oh, I, I, it's so good. And she's she just she's just an incredible builder. She doesn't do YouTube, but like she's just so good. Well, she does. I think it's like but it's makeup or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she's just incredible at building. She's so good. Um, yeah, a little appreciation for Ricey and Suicide up there. Uh, so if they're watching, that'd be really good. Um, but yeah, I make the sign bigger uh, using Ricey's font. I don't know which one it is. Um, but yeah. Uh, here I ha I'm just detailing the sides of this front bit. This took me so long, literally. Like this footage is sped up at like 1600%. So like this front, because I think it might have taken me like two hours. I'm quite a slow builder, because especially when I don't know the pieces that well. Um, it just, but like once I get into it, I really like. I, th I think I do a good job when when I get into it, but it just takes me a little while. Uh, but I, I, as you can see, I'm, I'm building this and I'm thinking, how could I make this so that it all works? Because I, I build, I've realised there's like four different heights for the actual building. And I was like, how can I make all these heights work? Because this is like the backstage part, so you wouldn't really see any of this. It'd be covered by like foliage and stuff. Um, and I, I make it all on the outside so that I can put wood on the inside so that the actual interior of the building is, is good. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I really struggled, to be honest, um, trying to match all the heights, but I, I come up with a solution, which I, I think is really good. Um, I, I, with the layered, I make the brick bit layered and then the heights just about well it, it's up to the top of the the plaster walls or concrete walls um, it's that's that's the final height of the building I think and then yeah so I, I start making this and then I had to it was it was really a f just a faff to be honest it was quite it was quite irritating to get it all right but I as you can see here I, I build this um, wall and I really like how it turns out. I think it's really cool. There's like another layer which gets it to the, the front and then that gets it to the top. And I just, I just, I really like how it looks. And I put windows on there, on the bottom and it just looks, oh, it looks so nice. Uh, and then I build all this in, get the roof on. And then uh, uh, all that's in there at the moment is exhibits, but I think in the glass bit to have some tortoise and then saltwater crocodile over this end spilling out oh anyway so yeah uh thanks for watching and um i'll see you all in the next one bye